Woody is known as the lumberjack at a constant, at war with the forest and cursed with being a Canadian. But I want to know more, so I decided to interview an expert at this character to help me discover his skill tree, explore all his strengths and weaknesses throughout a hundred days with only one life and one shot at taking down the hardest possible boss for Woody. Starting at the very beginning with no inside points and the goal of trying his three werewolves. Once we have the goose idol, we can explore the map, find Lunar, and hopefully not die in Lunar. Now like any normal playthrough, the first things that I need to do is explore and try to find a good cave entrance. However, the only difference is that while exploring, I also need to gather a couple of pieces of monster meat. Nice, we got one monster meat. The monster meat I collected will help me make the three kitschy idols I wanted to explore. And after gathering a couple of pig houses, I headed down my first cave entrance. A good cave entrance for me would either have to be connected to the blue mushroom biome or directly uh, to the roots. And since this one was not it, I decided to just keep gathering monster meat and exploring the world right, for a more, good base more, location. Oh, tree guard set piece! Tree guard set piece! And cactus. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Rocky biome, not bad. Excuse me, can I help you? All right, what do we got here? Um, it looks like uh, I need two more gold and I can make an alchemy. Somebody give me two gold. By day three, I was able to prototype my alchemy engine, but I still had a lot to explore. And so I made my first kitchen. I'm going to make a freaking moose idol, dude. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Ooh, these are pretty straight edges. Okay, okay, okay. We got a little, a little Maxwell set piece. I found no cave entrances at all, bro. Okay, we found one. Now, unlike the blue mushroom biome, the red one would not be connected directly to the ruins. However, since I wanted to rush the ruins and then be back on the surface by day 11 to rescue Glomer, this meant I would not have a lot of time to explore other cave entrances. 500 Chinese finger traps. I have yet to find anything useful. Somebody at Clay Enterprise is ruining my world on purpose. Perfect, perfect. Like it. Oh, cave entrance! Let's do this. It's gotta be this one, guys. It's gotta be this one. Peking, I've always said I'm a huge fan of yours, Peking. Every time somebody says, uh, what's the best base location? I always say Peking, you know? It's your turn to make, uh, you know, make your part of the deal and, uh, you know. And although exploration was going pretty bad, Day6 blessed us with a first insight point. And since I know nothing about Woody, here's an interview I did with the Maddest of Mats. If you had to pick one section of the skill tree to focus on, specifically in like the early game, which one would you target the most? Well, that immediately gets rid of like the wooden walking stick and the hardwood hat as viable options because by the time you'd have enough points to get them day 20, you'd already be getting a walking cane and probably probably it would be going all in for the Wermoos because if you can get full Wermoos Mastery, full transformation, timer, curse embracer, shadow affinity, that comes in late, but it still is really useful against a few boss fights. It really depends on your goals. Woody can be all over the place. Like if you go Tree Guard Idol by day 30, you have a really easy way to kill Toadstool and Ancient Fuel Weaver using Tree Guards. But I mean, that might not be what you're doing. So it really, really depends on what the player is doing. And so Moose is exactly what I focused on. But first, it was now day six. And without having found another good cave entrance, I headed down the red mushroom biome. And almost immediately, I found a blue mushroom biome. When will you learn? that your actions have consequences. However, since I still didn't really know where the ruins were, I decided to use a goose idol to travel a lot faster. Whoa. Okay, thankfully it went after the monkey, not me. What the, what is this? However, the problem with being a goose is that you're vulnerable to any sorts of damage. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ah, this to me, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, there's a terror beak. Stop, 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 stop. Lose sanity, lose it, lose it, lose it, lose it. No, 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 no. Don't do it, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna time it. No!
Somehow I managed not to die, but even better was that somehow in one day I was able to make it all the way to the entrance of the maze, meaning after just traveling a little bit through spiders, I was able to take on the first boss of the run. My freaking moosey ass! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I now had the best early game loot I could get, but with it being day 9 already, this meant I only had 2 days left to get back up to the surface and rescue Glomer. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, came all over his spider hands. There's nothing here. Hurry up, get the, get as much fuel side as we can. Okay, I gotta hurry up. I need to make it up to the surface. Oh, and we're not even that, we're not even close. Okay, it's right there. Go, 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 go. Believe in the process. Believe in the process. Whoa, it's raining very hard. Day 11, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get Glamour. Hello, tall bird. How you doing? I was able to make it to the Glamour statue right in the morning of day 11, and you might think this is a little bit early. However, the difference between Woody and many other characters is that every full moon, Woody will actually automatically transform into one of his wear forms. And so if I wanted to get Glamour in one of the shortest nights of the game, I would have to be here as soon as it turns night, detransform, and then rescue Glamour. Oh my god, Glamour. I was about to start chopping a bunch of trees. <laughs> Perfect. I don't even have food. I forgot you had to eat afterwards. And like a flying star, Glomer granted us the wish of finding our final boss. Wait, B Queen's right here? Oh, crap. And then one of the best set pieces for Woody. Whoa. Is this the Queen's Gathering? Oh, crap. I forgot I didn't have food. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Glomer. I'm. Glomer. But just like a shooting star, Glomer would probably not last that too long. That was close. Okay, let's keep exploring a little bit more. I unfortunately don't have any goose idols right now. But let's try to find more straight edges so that I can find Lunar. I have no idea, actually. I mean, I'll give you the end game content. That is, that is pretty good. Glomer died! Oh my god, no! Are you freaking kidding me? I just got them, you son of a bitch. You stupid rook piece of shit. You idiot. I can't believe it. I spent... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you Are you kidding me? Freaking glamour? I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe it. One day. They, they lived for one and a half days. <laughs> Here rest in peace Glomer. Glomer had been ripped out of our hands, but as day 14 rolled around, so did our second skill point. Oh yeah, the skill point. We're going for more moose. And with our moose mastery rising, I decided I would finally settle down. Okay, so we'll base here. I'm gonna be crafting outside. But while I mean, setting up my base, I had a big problem. Because the last 100 days I had done with Willow, I actually hadn't tried her favorite food. And so since being a Woody maid means you need to eat his favorite food, I decided I would focus on making one of the biggest bee farms ever to be seen in the world. All of the killer bee hives. 
But to make bee boxes, not only would I need to get honeycombs, but also a lot of wooden bees. And thankfully, there's no other better character to getting wood than Woody. Bugnet, bugnet, bugnet. I just need more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. You, uh, not kind of behind. Like, uh, another one to get it. Let's go. Okay, so I think I'll put the B boxes here. Perfect. Anyways, let's make more chest. That's what we need. But before continuing, I wanted to do another thing that Woody is really known for. And that's rushing Lunar Island. Look, you see how there's these two, three straight edges? It might be there. I have full HP. Oh, you know what? Wait, hold up. I doubt it, but I have no other choice. Dun, 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 dun. What? Yo, it was actually here? That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, let's get to the kill. And it's actually so close too. It's not even that far. It's literally like right there. Okay, we got the peach. And even though I probably wouldn't even need it later on, I still had to get me some kelp. Driftwood bolt the fan. That's it. Let's try to put the altar together. Okay, so these two are really close. Oh, those two are really close to that one. Oh, these are three. And although I plan on getting a beefalo later, they were so close together, I decided I might as well just walk them. I think this is a lot faster than most people think. That. There you go. Now we can get glass cutters. Oh shit. Where's my hand bats? Where's my hand bat? Salamanders, help! Ow, stupid gestalt, bro. Alright, let's leave this moon. Crap, I can only take so many things. Okay, this axe is useless to me. Oh, it's already gonna be winter. Shit. Okay, what do I drop? What do I drop? Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I didn't know that it would walk slow. And now that winter was right around the corner and the nights were getting as long as they could, I had to start preparing for the next boss fight. Let's go to the cact uh, desert, pick a bunch of cactus. 40 to 100 cactus. Hurry. I need to make sure I don't forget my pants loot too. That's actually big for us. White picking cactus. And I mean, I'm seeing. Oh! What? And with winter here, the only thing I needed was a little bit of healing. So now we're looking for blue mushroom. I don't remember which one it was. All right, perfect. Let's go. Right after paying a quick visit to McNutt, I got a Tamo. Let's go. And picking up the terrarium, I headed down to the caves to get a couple of blue mushrooms. Pretty go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yo, crap. Leaving me on day 23 to begin the Twins of Terror. Crap. Ow.
Thank you very much. That's all, folks. I gave a quick celebratory moose howl, but now that I had beaten my second braid boss as Woody, I decided it was time to focus on my real objective, and that's making a bunch of honey nuggets, which I first had to make some crock pots for. I'm freezing, I'm freezing. Ah, oh, dude, I keep forgetting I can't just walk into the fires. I'm, I'm not Willow no more. I'm not Willow anymore. I'm putting everything I've learned from Willow, Wilson, and Woody together and burning down an entire forest. Bro, I have no food. Another insight point. What? But I'll go for mastery. Whatever. Deer clubs, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it to me! There is a reason Deer Clubs is the first boss, though. He's not that smart. There's no way. <laughs> Deer Clubs. Deer Clubs. Deer Clubs. Look. Look, Deer Clubs. Uh, I don't think you're gonna win this one. <laughs> Deer Clubs. Deer Clubs. Deer... Ah! Okay, if you let me get the stuff. I, I promise I won't ever come back. Thankfully, he died before 931, because if not, I probably would have had a really bad time. What? Oh, sh I forgot about this. Thankfully, with all the time in the world, I decided I might as well get a couple of resources while also checking off trying all three wear forms out of the list. All right, it's almost going to be spring, so I'm almost going to be able to start working on my ginormous bee farm. From this, I can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-six, And I think I have three more at the base. So I should be able to make about 30 bee boxes. But to do that, I needed to do a lot of work. All right, now let's get the gold and make our, our ice box. We might eventually need more than one of these. Actually, let's just make two of them already. Oh, you know what? Picking is really close to the gold biome. So I could go trade my trinkets and then get gold. Okay, so we go trade trinkets and then we go get gold. And that's the plan because I still need to wait for, for spring. And that's awesome. Damn, bro wakes up fast. Woo, we're freaking swimming in it right now. Wait, actually, I have enough gold already. Why, why am I going to get more gold? That freaking bunny killed a, a bird. That bunny killed a bird. Wait, you know what? I hadn't even thought about it. But to make 30 bee boxes, if every single bee box takes three boards, I'm gonna need 220 logs. If only there was a character that was good at chopping trees. Man, what the hell? I made a pierogi? And so I had to get to chopping. Whoa, 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 chill, look. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a, I'm a good man. Honest, hardworking man. More? <laughs> no, you're kidding me. What? <laughs> That's way too many. You can't stop me. I have a problem. <laughs> Look at that little one. What the hell is he gonna do? Oh crap! I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Oh crap! I didn't make a lightning rod. Run! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, is there a hound wave? No, 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 don't do this to me. Ah, my freaking sword! Get the hell away from me! Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is horrible! Spring would be difficult, but thankfully the bees were out now and I could finally begin working on the largest honey farm in the world. Yeah, this this feels like the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put an ice flingomatic here because of summer, but then I can do all around all around here. And the first step was getting honeycombs. I do need to kill these bees though. Alright. Insight point. Now we can get our easier boards. And then catching some bees. To finally set up the bee boxes. That should be fine. This. <laughs> this is so many. I don't even know where they're gonna get enough, enough food. And with the first seven honey boxes set up, I could finally get my favorite food. 
<laughs> Our favorite food! The whole reason we did this! Alright, time to hunt bees. You know what, dude? <laughs> okay, let's get more. From what I remember, this should be enough to get all my all my bees. Let's go deforest the station. Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> oh my god. Chill, I'm trying to just expand your colony. Dude, I can't. There's too many bees around. I can't do that. I can't. There's way too many bees here. Okay, dude, I need to start freaking killing these bees. There's way too many and I don't need them no more. Ow. Okay, that thing is making honey like crazy. <laughs> There's not even enough flowers for everybody. Look, they're all fighting over that one single flower. But before I kept working on my honey farm, I needed to start setting up the fight for Bee Queen. This, and it was one, two, three. Now I need to make a lot of uh, cobblestone. However, I was far from being done with my honey farm. Hi Rook, do you remember when you hit me once? Oh my god. Dude, there is so much honey in there. And since we were now in summer, that meant we also got another skill point. I might need another kitchen, dude. I might... Oh, another inside point. Yeah, let's get the uh, hard hat. One down. Two to go. Look, I had more honeycombs. Where are they? Okay, I have four more. That makes I can make 15 more bee boxes. That's probably gonna fill up that entire side. And since I needed 60 bees to make them, I would need a lot of silk. Thankfully, I had set up a farm earlier with a lot of pigs, and I could take them all down for a lot of silk. Look, they're all full! <laughs> they're all freaking full! I am depleting the bee population. Followed by getting a lot of wood to do anything. Just stand around and watch. Until on day 67, I could begin to put all my bee boxes down. All right, so let's put down these bees. No, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. We've done it guys, we've done it! The ultimate beehive! Well, after filling it with flowers, it was now the best it could ever be. Unfortunately, summer was not really on our side. My, my, my thermal zone's about to break. And harvesting all the honey from them was probably a bigger job than building them. Look, I'm gonna harvest all of them tonight and you guys are gonna see how fast they fill up. <laughs> it literally lags my PC as soon as they come out, bro. I could literally spend the entire day harvesting this and I would never finish. <laughs> I already got five stacks. Five freaking stacks of honey from one farm. And since I was going to be getting a lot of honey, this meant I would have to make even more ice boxes. Look, I just picked these. <laughs> I literally built these yesterday and they're already full. I've almost filled an entire other ice box and I don't even have one crafted. I'm just gonna make, you know what? I was gonna make the freaking shadow manipulator there. I don't even think I can do that anymore. But little did I know, this was not even gonna be close to enough. I just, you guys saw, I literally just picked all of them. Okay, look, they're about to get completely full, max. Look, that one's max, that one's max, that one's max, that one's max. An inside point, let's go. Where forms lasted a fair amount longer. And now we can get this one, person bracer. 
Day 70, man, I only really need one more skill point to be able to fight Beak. However, I didn't want to be too rusty since it had been a while since I had my last fight. And so I try to take on Berger and then a couple Spider Queens. That's what I thought about you. That's what I thought about you. But because Woody has a higher chance of spawning tree guards, I ended up having a big L. Are you kidding me? I didn't even chop the tree, bro. Stupid tree, bro. Leave me alone. My freaking meat. Stupid tree guard, bro. And back home, things were only getting crazier. Oh my god, bro. Look at this. It's full again. Leading to even more ice boxes. We're almost out of honey, guys. We've only got less than half of our honey, our, our ice boxes full. But I did get to try to be a Weber main, so that was pretty cool. Let's go. You can do it. Oh, wait. No, you can't. They were attacking the nest. They were not attacking each other. And on day 80, as I got the last necessary skill point for Bee Queen, I decided to practice one last time with some spider quits. Or sanity penalties from eating kitschy idols return to human form without having an empty stomach. But it really didn't work out. Bro, there's too many healers. What the hell? I'm doing nothing, bro. I'm doing nothing. Bro, all I'm doing is dropping my sanity. This is stupid. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the most stupid thing I've ever done in my entire life. I cannot believe it. Are you serious? Bro, screw you. Hell no. Where the hell am I even going? I can't see. Two spider queens right next to each other. Six freaking healers. They're ganged up together. I can't do anything to them. And so, at the final stretch, I set up the final steps of the Bee Queen Arena. If you want to know if this works, look at that Nightmare Creature. <laughs> what an idiot. Said goodbye to all the bees in the world. This is every single bee in the entire planet. Armed a little bit more monster meat for Kitschy Idols. And collected a couple of blue mushrooms for healing. I got the last skill point I could and then began the Bee Queen fight on day 95. Time. To my health! <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, maybe I should have practiced a little bit more because I paid too much attention to my wear meter and paid no attention to my I health. I was only paying attention to my wear moose meter. And although I said it was only gonna take me one life, I could not end this video like this. And so I revived and headed back to the fight.
I hate this stupid game. This game is such a piece of shit, bro. Ho, ho, ho. Pelotas.